Um, are we on? Okay, I think we're on. I think this is actually going to work tonight. I am actually broadcasting from my phone tonight. Um, and I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Trevor DeWitt from Indiana, Kentucky. Uh, we were chatting this week and he suggested I try this new app that allows me to broadcast live to YouTube. So thank you, Trevor, for all your help. It is very much appreciated. So I am praying that the music will be a lot better than what it's been. Welcome to Winterpeg. Um, I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, but right now we jokingly here call it Winterpeg, and we had a big winter storm that came in uh, in the middle of the night, and we've had several inches of snow today, very heavy, wet snow. I think I shoveled about five times. Um, the kind of snow that makes uh, a lot of my dancers want to stay home on an evening like this, so it's a good thing we're doing online classes. I was another big thank you to my husband, Steve, who drove us tonight because I'm not a great uh, winter driver. I don't like driving in the snow. So anyway, he drove me tonight. Everything's uh, all set up. So we're going to start right off the bat. Uh, this is a dance from my friend Chris Phelps. Nice, easy dance. It's actually called Simple. It's from Florida, Georgia Line. I'm just going to show you quickly the steps in it. Andrew, do you want to come up and join me? This is my son, Andrew. And Put in the comments, I need to buy him new jeans, because I know I do. This kid just won't stop growing on me. Your jeans are, look like you're expecting a flood. But it's good, because people can see your feet better than the really, really low jeans. Anyway, we're going to start. We're going to do a rocking chair. And then you're going to do two basics as you do, oh, pardon me, quarter turn right. So we're going to turn right on the basics. And you're going to do a rocking chair and two basics to the back. Rocking chair, two basics, rocking chair, two basics. So we do all four walls, but you don't turn on the rocking chair, you turn on the basics. We're gonna do a cowboy, triple brush, and then a chain coming back. We're gonna do a karate turn, double step, kick, step, kick, and then a fancy double. We're gonna repeat that. Andrew's gonna continually check the views and everything, making sure that the camera's set up right. So send him comments. Andrew will get refer them to me and answer you if he can. Um, we're gonna repeat all those three steps to the front. So you're gonna do a cowboy. One, two, three, brush up, chain. Oh, no, pardon me, I'm sorry, you don't turn on the cowboy. So we're gonna do just that cowboy facing the back. Then you're gonna turn on the karate. Double step kick kick and a fancy double. So again that part B is cowboy forward, karate turn and a fancy double. Repeat that all to the front. For part C we're going to do two clog over vines but we're going to turn them. So if you've never turned a clog over vine before I like to turn on the fourth double step in the opposite direction of where you're going. So if we're going clog over vine left we're going to go one, two, three, Four. On that fourth double step is where you're going to turn right. Five, six, seven, rock step. Then we're going to come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rock step. So that's our clog over vine. We're going to repeat A, B, and C. But C is going to be slightly different this time around. Clog over vine, or turning vine. Chain to the back. So we do one clog over vine instead of two. Your right foot will be free. We're going to do a chain right to the back and a fancy double. Then we're going to do the clogging turn over vine. Chain to the front and a fancy double. One last part, we're going to do a triple slur. So it's like a clog over vine, but that fourth double step will be a slur step. So you're going to go one, two, three, slur step, and then a triple. One, two, three, rock step. So again, crossing over on the double, on the double steps. So a triple slur vine, one, two, three, slur step, one, two, three, rock step. Those are all the steps you need to know. This is simple choreography by Chris Phelps. Hi, Chris. Thanks for chatting with me today and sending me the dance. Here we go. We're going to start with the left foot rocking chair. Here we go. Basics and turns. Rocking chair. Basics now turns. Rocking chair. Basics. Rocking chair. Basics. 
which was just two clog over vines. So um, Chris actually has a video on YouTube of that dance. Uh, that's where I first saw it. And uh, look that up because it's a great, nice and easy dance. I'm actually going to be teaching it in my intro to clogging, my beginner's dance. Uh, sorry, my beginner's class. Um, I got some great feedback on it, so I've decided to do it twice a week now just to try and build up people's repertoire and their steps and everything. So that's going to be tomorrow morning, Friday, at 10 a.m. again, uh, Central Daylight Time. I am going to provide a link on Facebook tonight once I get home, and um, I hope you'll join me with that one or pass on the link to people who you think should get up and moving and should learn how to clock. Tell them to watch the first video first. That's on my YouTube channel, just intro to clogging, and uh, every class I'm just going to be building on from there. All right, thanks Chris for the dance. Let's see, let's move on to another dance here. We are going to do one of my favorite Canadian groups, uh, Great Big C. This is a dance I wrote a couple years ago. It's called Mary Mac. It's actually kind of a line dance. So very similar, do you guys remember that uh, dance, old time rock and roll from the, uh, the national dance list? So you know how you just kept repeating all these steps to each wall? That's exactly how I wrote this dance. I'm gonna show you the steps. We do them seven times through. It is two clog over vines, and we're not gonna bother turning this time. So two clog over vines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rock step, one, two, three, four, The second step is two boogie basics. Double step, rock step, double step, rock step. So boogie basic is just a basic step, but you're rocking sideways and most people tend to clap on the boogie basics. Following that, we're gonna do four toe heels. We are gonna do a cowboy and we are gonna do a quarter turn left on the cowboy. One, two, three, brush up, same, come back. 
Then you're going to do a rocking chair quarter turn again. Then you're going to do a touch back. Now let me show you a touch back. You're going to do double step, double up. Double step, double up. You're going to tap twice at the back. Tap one, tap two. That's a touch back. So double step, double up, tap, tap. You're going to follow it with a triple. Now, we were here. We just did the cowboy and the rocking chair. We're going to turn on that touch back as well, another quarter turn. So you're going to do double step, double up turn, then tap twice, and then do a triple facing that wall. So touch back, ready, and double step, double up, tap, and a triple. And then we redo the whole dance. So let's take it from the top. You're going to do, I'm going to dance it right away, but first of all, it is two clog over vines, left and right. We're going to do two boogie basics and four toe heels. We're going to do a cowboy, a rocking chair, a touch back, and a triple. And then we would start again from here. Clog over vines, boogie basics, toe heels. Cowboy, rocking chair, touch back, and a triple. And so you keep going around seven times. After the first four, the music picks up tremendously. It gets super fast. So the next three times, we're going to do it really fast. Um, the third time, we're not going to make it all the way to the front. So what I want you to do is when you turn to the front on the rocking chair, we're not going to turn on the touchback. You're going to um, just keep the touchback forward and then a triple. And this way we end the dance facing the front. Let's run through all the steps back to back just once before I put the music on. Clog over vine. Ready? And... Boogie basic. Toe heel. Let's try it again. Toe heels. Ready? And cowboy. Let's turn. Quarter. Rocking chair to the back. Touch back. Double step. Double up. Tap. Triple. Let's do it one more time. Clog over vine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two boogie basic. Four toe heels. Cowboy turn to the front. Rocking chair. Touch back. Triple. So that was two times through. We would do another two, which would bring us back to the front. You'll hear it. The music's going to get faster. And we do three more rounds. So this is Mary Mac by Great Big C, my choreography. Here we go. Hang on, I'm going to make the music a little louder. Here we go. Five, six, claws over five. basic. Yeah. 
We're behind the speaker and our feet were making a lot of noise over that music and it was very hard for us to hear the music. All right, good job, Andrew. He's never seen that one before. Uh, what are we gonna do next here? Okay, this is one of my all-time favorites. I taught this in Vancouver, Washington a few years ago. Um, this is Voulez Vous. So uh, by the group ABBA, we are gonna do two clog over twists. So, you're gonna start it like a clog over vine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then for the seven, instead of a double step, you're gonna go a double, double, twist, twist, twist. So, it's a clog over twist, but you do three twists at the, excuse me, at the end, instead of your seventh double step and a rock step. So, clog over twist. One, two, three, Double twist, twist, twist. Then you're gonna come back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double twist, twist, twist. All right, that's your intro. The break. We're gonna do four heel pull basics. I'm realizing how much I like this step because it shows up in a lot of my dances. All right, four heel pull basics. Heel pull step and a basic. Heel pull step basic. Now I know it's very easy to do a turkey when you do the heel pull basic, but the turkey would have one extra sound, so and, and it wouldn't have that drag in it. But I know sometimes people just naturally snap their foot down. Don't snap your foot. Keep your toe in the air. Heel pull step basic. Heel pull step basic. Again. All right. Part A. We're going to do a long slur vine. You're going to do a slur step. You're going to do two double steps and then cross over. You're going to do a slur step again and a basic. That's your long slur vine. So let's try that again. All right, long slur vine. Slur step, two double steps, slur step, and a basic. Long slur vine. If your right foot's free, you're going to do two hard steps, starting with the right foot. Double back, brush it up, and a basic. Double back, brush up, basic. So again, if you've never seen a hard step before, you're going to do a double back. You're going to brush up with that same foot, and then a basic. And then a hard step on the left foot. Double back, brush up, and a basic step. Now, our right foot's still free. We're going to do a long slur vine coming back to the right. So a slur step. Two double steps, a third step again, and a basic, hard step, double back, brush up, and a basic, double back, brush up, basic. So let's try part A, all together, no stopping. Long slur vine, two hard steps, long slur vine, two hard steps. Ready, and slur step, two double step, slur step, hard step, double back, brush, and a basic, double back, brush, and a basic, long slur, slur. Double step, slur, and a basic. Hard step, double back, brush up, basic step. So that's our part A. Part B, we're going to do four unclogs moving forward. Stamp, stomp, stop, up. Stamp, stomp, stop, up. So an unclog, you're making two sounds with the same foot. In clogging, stamp takes no weight. Stomp, it's like a heavy step, but you're putting your weight down on it. So you're going stamp, stomp, then you're doing a scuff with the heel up. Stamp, stomp, scuff, up, stamp, stomp. So that's your unclog. We're going to do four of them. Your left foot's free after that. You're going to do chain left to the back and a triple. Now we're going to do four unclogs again, moving forward. Left foot, ready, and stamp, stomp. Triple, we're only doing a basic here. 
because the chorus starts next and I kind of wanted to work with the music here. So I've named this na next step Voulez-vous because that's exactly what they're saying in the, um, in the song, Voulez-vous. And in case you don't know in French, that means do you want to, okay? So Voulez-vous, otherwise known as a triple brush and a basic. Okay, I just say voulez-vous because you're going to hear it with the music. So voulez-vous, do a triple brush and a basic. One, two, three, brush up, basic step. So that's our voulez-vous. Let's do it again. Triple brush, basic. One, two, three, brush up, basic step. Now, then they go aha three times. So I want you to do step, step, clap, double, step, double, step. That's your aha. Okay, so step, step. You're gonna clap on two, and then two double steps, and three, and four, okay? So it's step, step, clap, double step, double step. You're gonna do that three times as you turn to the back. So three ahas, ready? And step, step, double step, double step, 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 double step, double step, step, step. When we get to the back, you're gonna do a regular triple and a basic. And a basic. Now we do voulez-vous again. What's voulez-vous? Do you remember? Triple. No. <laughs> voulez-vous triple brush and a basic. Sorry to put you on the spot. Triple brush and a basic. Voulez-vous. Yes. Then you're going to do aha. So your aha, step, step, clap, double step, double step. Ready? And step, step. two double steps. There's an extra two beats there. So the chorus is voulez-vous, which is triple brush and a basic. Three ahas. Step, step, clap, double step, double step. Three ahas to get to the back, a triple and a basic. Then you do voulez-vous again, triple brush and a basic. Three ahas to the front, a triple and a basic, and two double steps to finish it all off. So I'm going to try that with you. Voulez-vous, triple brush and a basic. Ready, and triple brush and a basic. Aha, step, step, double step, double step, 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 double step, double step, step, step. Triple and a basic. Voulez-vous, triple brush and a basic. Aha, step, step, double step, double step, step, step. One more. Triple. That's the chorus, and hopefully the music's coming through loud enough when we play the music that you'll be able to hear how that aha works with the, with the music. All right? Last part. I think there's only one more step I need to show you. The cowboy. We know the cowboy. Yes, so cowboy, ready, and one, two, three, press up, change. And then we're going to do four clog over twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, double, twist, twist, twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, twist again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four heel pull basic. Heel pull step basic. Heel pull step. There. There's one part, the bridge, so the break is four heel pull basics that we do a couple times. But in the middle of the dance, it's a little bit shorter, the bridge, so we're gonna do one heel pull basic, heel pull step and a basic, and a basic. Then we do the voulez-vous. Um, and it's different here, we're not gonna do the two double steps anymore at the end because they keep repeating it. So we'll do it a couple times through. This song is very long, so um, I might just cut it off towards the end. Anyway, let's try this. Do you remember the long slur vine? Long slur vine, a slur step, two double steps, a slur step. I better hold it just to be on the safe side. All right. Everything's going okay there, Andrew? Looks like it. Yeah, okay. Careful you don't do that. You don't want to knock the phone. Okay, here we go. Voulez-vous by ABBA. This is my choreography.
there's still 45 seconds left to that song and it just keeps repeating itself. Um, all right, so that was Voulez Vous. Now, let's go to Vegas. This is one Andy Howard and I wrote a couple years ago, uh, or a year and a half ago, I guess, in honor of the Nationals going to Vegas this past November. Um, I hope you went, because we had a wonderful time. And it was announced that the Nationals, which has been for, oh my goodness, I think it was 30 years now, has been the Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving weekend, has now been moved to the summertime. So it's in late July. Um, I don't want to give the dates because I don't have the exact dates in my head, but it's in late July this summer. Fingers crossed that our life is back to normal by then. And it's in New Orleans this summer. So I hopefully uh, you'll sign up for that and then I'll get to see you there. Anyway, back to Vegas. This is the dance. Let's go to Vegas. Andy Howard and I wrote this. We're gonna do a Charleston and a hard step. This dance is much slower than that last one. So we're gonna do a Charleston and a hard step. Left foot, double back, brush it up, and a base step. Your right foot's free. We're gonna do a Charleston and a hard step. Double back, brush it up, and a base step. Then we're going to do a double basic and a fancy double. So the chorus, which we do often, Charleston hard step on one foot, Charleston hard step on the other foot, a double basic and then a fancy double. Let's try it all together. Charleston, ready, and hard step, Charleston, hard step. Double basic, fancy double. If that felt kind of weird, that's because the double basic is only three beats, but it all fits in with the music. Country is known to kind of have three beats here, just an extra two beats here. So anyway, it all fits in with the music. Part A, we're gonna do two Samanthas, half turn right each of them. Samantha to the back, ready, and one, two. Drag step, drag step, rock step, double basic. Again, one, two, drag, step, drag, step, rock, step, double basic. For those of you out there who've never seen a Samantha before, a Samantha, two double steps, you're crossing over. Your weight is now on your right foot. You're gonna do two drag steps moving back. Drag, step, drag, step. So let's do that again. Two double steps, two drag steps. Double step, double step, drag, step, drag, step. You're gonna follow it with a rock double. Rock step and then a double step, double step, rock step. So again, the rock double or rock step, double basic. Rock step, double basic. Put it all together, Samantha. Ready? And one, two, drag step, drag step, rock double. Samantha. One, two, drag step, drag step, rock double. Let's turn it to the back. One, two, drag step, drag step, rock double. One more time to the front. One. Two, drag, step, drag, step, rock, double. We're going to repeat the chorus. We're going to repeat the Samanthas again. And repeat the chorus one more time, but we're going to take out the fancy double. So we're just going to end it with the double basic. Part B in the middle. We're going to do two Kentucky drags moving left. Double step, drag, step, double step, drag, step. Then you're going to do a joey on the left foot. Double one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your right foot is free. We're gonna do a Burton stamp as we turn to the back. So a Burton stamp is a double step and three stamp ups with the left foot. Double step, stamp, stamp, stamp. When you get to the back, you're gonna do a double basic and a clap. Double step, double step, rock step, clap. Otherwise known as a double rock chug. So double basic with a clap or double rock chug. Then we're gonna repeat it all to the front. So two Kentucky drags, double step, drag, step. Joey. Burton down, double basic with a clap. All good? All right, that was part B. We're gonna do the chorus again, but we're gonna add on, so that was the Charleston hard step, Charleston hard step, double basic, fancy double. We're gonna add on a cowboy and a double basic. Nope, no clap there, it's just a double basic. So make sure you listen for me to say a clap because we do have just a double basic in this dance and a double basic with a clap. You see, double basic, double basic with a clap.
So we also are going to do the ending now. So you do the chorus, but we're going to do the Charleston hard step, Charleston hard step. Then you're going to repeat again, Charleston hard step, Charleston hard step, a double basic, a Charleston again, and a double basic. Then here's the very end, and this is a little different. We're going to do a rocking chair stomp. So you're going to do a double step, brush up, double step, rock stomp. So instead of rock step, give me a loud stomp. Double step, brush up, double step, rock stomp. Yes, stomp. Then you're going to do two more stomps. One, two. Not so loud. Don't hurt your knees. Not so loud. And then a rock step. Yes. So you're going to do a rocking chair stomp, two more stomps, and a rock step. Let's try this. Rocking chair stomp, two stomps, and a rock step. Rocking chair with a stomp. One, two, rock step. Don't, don't, don't stomp on that rock step. So just a nice, easy rock step at the end. Let's try that again. Ready? And rocking chair with a stomp. One, two, rock step. Good. Then you're going to do four stomp doubles as you turn. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Step, double step, rock step, stomp. One more. And that's our ending. So the ending, after we do the extra Charleston's and double basics, the rocking chair stomp, two more stomps and a rock step, and then four stomp doubles as you turn. All right, here is Let's Go to Vegas. This is a beginner's plus level dance uh, by Faith Hill, and choreography is Andy Howard and myself. I have to tell you this quick story. Andy was actually supposed to be flying into Winnipeg tonight or this afternoon and we were he was supposed to be coming to my class, my real class tonight, and then he and I were doing were supposed to do a workshop this coming Saturday. Um, but as you know, a lot of workshops, conventions are getting cancelled right now. But it's almost a blessing in disguise, at least for Andy, I think it is, because I'm sure there's no way he would want to be in Winnipeg right now with all the snow. I keep looking up at the window that's right out there, and I keep seeing the trees blowing and more snow coming. So it's kind of nasty out here right now. So small blessing in disguise is here. <laughs> all right, let's do, let's go to Vegas. Here we go. There's only an eight beat intro. One, two, three, four, five, six, Charleston. Hey, baby, let's go. Step, drag, step. I just can't Charleston. Hey, baby, let's go. Hard step, double back. 
show you a dance beforehand. That was a lot slower than what you were used to, or it wasn't it, Andrew? All right. How are we doing here? Okay, so we are going to do... Ooh, I've got two more dances lined up, and depending on how quickly it goes, maybe I'll throw some easy stuff at the end, but I wanted to get through these next two. So the next one we're going to do is an easy intermediate, and then I would think probably by 8 o'clock, uh, a regular intermediate dance. So this easy intermediate, it's called Hard Way Home, and it's choreographed. What was that one called that we just did? The one we just did was Let's Go to Vegas. Uh, Faith Hill is the singer and choreography, Andy Howard and myself. By the way, I have updated my website and all of the cue sheets of all the dances I've been doing are on my website, or they should be, let me know if there's a broken link, um, but they should all be there. Plus. After this whole uh, broadcast gets done, then it usually takes me a day or so, but I go back into the video and I do list all of the dances uh, by name and the singer, the artist, and the choreographers as well. So if you go back into this video in a day or two, you'll see all the different dances that we've gone through tonight. All right, so this next one, this is an easy intermediate, hard way home, and it's by my good friend, Sarah Dwight Gilroy. Hello, Sarah, she's in, uh, Northern California, I was about to say Southern California. She's in, I think it's the San Francisco area, correct me if I'm wrong, Sarah. Um, anyway, this is one of my club's favorites, Hard Way Home, music is Brandy Carla. All right, so we hold for an eight counts. I think the hardest part about this dance is just hearing the first eight beats. Everything else, totally doable. So let me show you, the first thing is clog over vine, left and right, ready, and one, two, Oh, oh, you have to sneeze. <laughs> okay, um, that was part A. So just clog over vine left and right. There are only three parts to this dance. Part B, hi, you're back. <laughs> part B, we're gonna do a walk over Joey. So you're gonna go double step, double step, drag, one, two, three. So I think in Southern California, they also call this a Bama toe vine, but we're gonna call it a walk over Joey. Double step, double step, Drag, one, two, three. Then you're gonna do the same thing on your right foot. Double step, double step, drag, one, two, three. Yes, I actually learned it as a Bama toe vine, but I'm gonna be reading off the cue sheet, so I'm going by with what is written here. Walk over Joey is the other name for a Bama toe vine. Walk over Joey, let's do it again. Double step, double step, drag, one, two, three. Double step, double step, drag, one, two, three. From here, you're gonna do two clap basics. So as you do a drag back on the right foot, you're kicking your left foot out and you're gonna go clap, step, rock, step, clap, step, rock, step. And if you're so inclined, because I know it's gonna come out of Andrew's feet, and if you're an advanced dancer, go for a pullback there if you want. Clap basics, ready? And clap, step, rock, step, clap, step, rock, step. No pullbacks this time? No, I'm putting you on the spot again. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Then we're gonna do a double rock chug. Double step, double step, rock step, kick. Same thing as a double basic with a kick, we call it a double rock chug. Double step, double step, rock step, kick. Okay, don't hit the floor, don't make a sound. So double step, double step, rock step, kick. Yes, so we have the two walk over joeys. One, two, drag, one, two, three. One, two, drag, one, two, three. The clap basics, I actually want you to turn half left on them. Clap, step, rock, step, clap, step, rock, step. Then you're going to do your double basic with a kick or double rock chug. Then we're going to repeat. Walk over Joey. Ready? And one, two, drag, one, two, three, one, two, clap, basic, clap, double rock chug. Good, so that's our part B. Let's try it all together. Walk over Joey, Bama toe vine. Ready? And one, two, drag. One, two, three. Clap, basic to the back. Double rock chug. Walk over Joey. Drag, one, two, three. Clap, basic to the front. Double basic with a kick. Nice sound, I heard that in there. All right. 
Let's just try that up to there and then I'll show you that last part. So count to eight and then it's and then it's two clog over vines and then this part B that we just learned. basics, double rock chuck. All good? You're laughing. Is there something funny? <laughs> All good? All right. Part C, we're going to do a dirty joke, uh, sorry, a dirty cowboy. So a dirty cowboy is instead of doing a triple brush, you're going to do a kind of a triple dirty toe slug it up. So you're going to go double slur. So it's like you're a dirty toe. It's like you're wiping mud off the side of your foot. Double slur. Slur, slur, slug it up. So a slug is kind of just picking it up. You're not, you don't, you can't really do a brush because your foot is turned out. So you just pick it up. Yeah. So you don't want to turn it in. You're just bringing it up. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Triple slur or dirty toe. Ready? And one, two, three. Slug it up. Then. You're actually going to turn there because then you're going to do your regular chain back. So that's the cowboy part. So we're just replacing the triple brush with that dirty toe slug up. Okay? Try it without the turn first. Dirty cowboy. Ready? And double slur, 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 slug it up. Chain back. All right, let's try it turning now. Okay? Ready? And one, two, three, slug it up. Chain come back. Yeah, you want to turn on the slug. Then we're going to do a Samantha. Now we're going to come back with that dirty cowboy. Ready? And one, two, three, slug up. Same. Samantha. So exact same step that we did in the last dance, Samantha, but we're not turning on this one. So the dirty cowboy is going to turn. We do the Samantha to the back, dirty cowboy to the front, Samantha, and then we're going to do a mountain basic, also known as a stomp Utah basic. Stomp double up and then a basic step. So mountain basic, stomp double up, basic step. Um, that's it. Those are all the steps of the dance. The dance does end with a fin, but my group just does another mountain basic because I've been teaching this actually in my beginners plus just moving into intermediate class. And uh, the fin was a little too difficult. So we just, we, we do another mountain basic. So sorry, Sarah, we just do another mountain basic at the end of the dance. All right, so let's just practice this part C one more time. Dirty cowboy to the back, Samantha. Dirty cowboy to the front, Samantha. Mountain basic. Ready, dirty cowboy. One, two, three, slug it up. Chain come back, Samantha. Dirty cowboy. One, two, three, slug up. Samantha. Mountain basic. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> okay, you were adding in extra sounds with your on your Samantha, weren't you? Yes, you were. I heard you. Um, okay, there are those are the three parts. So just clog over vine left and right. The walk over Joey's clap basics, double rock chug to the back, repeat to the front, and then this last part, dirty cowboy Samantha, dirty cowboy Samantha mountain basic. There are a few times towards the end where there's no turn. So just listen to me, I'll tell you whether to turn or not. All right, so this is called Hard Way Home. The music is by... Can you show them the fin? The fin, yes. Okay, <laughs> you wanna add the fin at the end. The fin is double ball, ball, heel, snap, toe, snap, step. I'm gonna break it down. 
So double fall in behind, fall out to the side. Heel, as you point your toe out to the right, you're gonna snap it over to the left. You're gonna tap back, and as you tap back, you wanna pop your left toe up so that you can snap it back forward, and then you take a step. So, fifth, double ball, ball, heel, snap, toe, snap, step. Try that again, spin, double ball, ball, heel, snap, toe, snap, step. You got the fin? So why don't you do the fin at the very end and I'll do that extra mountain basic, okay? Let's do the last time. The last time we do the dirty cowboy, actually we do not turn. So you're gonna just do the dirty cowboy forward and back. You're gonna do Samantha Mountain Basic, and then I'm gonna do an extra Mountain Basic, and you do the fifth, and see if we can get it, okay? Dirty Cowboy, ready? And, plug it up, no turn. Samantha, Mountain Basic, Mountain Basic, Mountain Basic or spin. Oh, we finished at the same time, perfect, perfect. So again, one more time, that spin, double ball, ball, heel, all right, here is Hard Way Home Choreography by Sarah Dwight Gilroy. Here we go. Clock over time. To the right. Walk over Joey Ramatova. intermediate I would say. Uh, this song is called Yeah, Y-E-A-H, exclamation mark, and it's by a Canadian country artist Paul Brent. Uh, this is my choreography. So the dance, yeah. 
The intro. We're gonna do a grapevine devil. Now a grapevine devil is like a clog over vine, but I want you to just do six double steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then instead of that seventh one, do a ball slide rock step. Ball slide rock step. I know there's different terms for this step. I always learned it as a grapevine devil. So let's try. Six double steps, ball slide rock step. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six ball slide rock step. Now, here's your option. Instead of doing ball slide, you can just go toe heel rock step instead. And that kind of saves the knees from a bit of jarring there. Let's try it again. Great fine devil. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six ball slide rock step. We're going to repeat it back immediately to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six ball slide rock step. Let's try it again. Left and right. Ready? And. One, two, three, four, five, six, ball, side rock. Good. Great fine devils. We are going to then do a triple loop turning to the back. So, three double steps. And you're going to do a loop step as you turn half right to the back. And then give me a rock double here. Rock step double base. So, first of all, sorry, I should have done this without turning first. It's a triple loop rock double. One. So after you do that loop, your left foot needs to move back and go rock double. Now let's try a triple loop, rock double. Ready? And one, two, three, loop, rock double. Yes. Now again, like I showed at the uh, beginning of this, we're going to do a loop turning half right to the back. So one, two, three, loop, rock double. And by doing that loop, it like puts your left foot in behind already, so you don't really need to move that left foot much. It's already lined up to do the rock double. So, triple loop to the back, rock double. Ready? And one, two, three, rock double. Then we repeat just these two steps to the front. Triple loop to the front, rock double. One, two, three, rock double. Okay, so here's our intro. Grapevine double, left and right, triple loop to the back, rock double, triple loop to the front, rock double. Grapevine double, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, ball, five, rock step. One, two, three, four, five, six, triple loop to the back, rock double. Triple loop to the front, one, two, three, rock double. Awesome, yeah? Okay. Fancy triple rocker. That's going to, oh, first of all, you know what? Let's do the intro to music. Let's try that. Um, I forgot to test the music. I don't know if we want to do 100% yet. Let's just see what 90 is like to begin with. I might turn this up or speed it up later. We are going to wait 16. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. Two, three, four. before please feel free or maybe not tonight but please feel free to mention in the comments if you have any questions about any of the steps if I need to go over something thank you for putting that uh, question about the fins great idea I like to feed the, the constant back and forth that's the bonus of doing the, the live class all right um part a we're gonna do a fancy triple rocker so we're gonna start it with an actual fancy triple step and if you don't know a fancy triple it's a triple so three double steps and a rock step. You're gonna cross over the second double step. You're gonna bring that third rock step back in and a rock step and I want you to cross over. So you're gonna go double step, double step, bring it back, rock step. Now, this is the rocker part. Our right foot's free. We're gonna do two rock steps moving diagonal right. Rock step, rock step, and then a basic step. 
All right, so fancy triple rocker. One, two, three. Rock step, rock step, rock step, and a basic step. Let's try that again. Fancy triple, two rock steps, and a basic. Ready? And one, two, three. Rock step, rock step, rock step, and a basic step. From here, our left foot is free. We're going to do what I call a tap back. Your left foot is free. You're going to go double up. So your weight comes on that foot after you do the tap. So double up, tap, step. Double up, tap, step. Double up, tap, step. Give me a couple more. Double up, tap, step. Double up, tap, step. So that's a tap back. We're going to do two tap backs. Left foot, ready, and double up, double up. From here, you're going to do you're going to do a walk the dog, turning half left. Double step, double step, heel, heel, rock step. Or double crab walk, I think is, sorry. I think that's what they call it in Southern California, double crab walk. So walk the dog to the back. Double step, double step, heel, heel, rock step. Don't snap your feet down, it's rock step. We're going to do fancy triple rocker, moving diagonal right. Two tap backs, bringing us back, and then the walk the dog, turning to the back. Fancy triple rocker, ready, and one, two, three, rock step, rock step, rock step, now tap back, double up, double up, walk the dog as you turn. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, so fancy triple rocker, ready, and one, two, three, hang on, you got to cross over, okay, ready, and one, two, three, rock step, rock step, good, tap back, double up, walk the dog. Now turn to your left. That is part eight. So let's try all of that all together, no stopping, and then I'll put the music on for that. Fancy rocker, ready? And one, two, three. Rock step, rock step, rock step, and a basic. Tap back, walk the dog. Double step, double step, heel, heel. Fancy triple with the rocker. Rock step, rock step, and a basic. Tap back, double up. Double up, walk the dog. Are you okay? Let's go over the fancy triple rocker. Fancy triple. One, two, three, rock step. Two rock steps. One, two, and a basic. You're good? Okay, let's do it again. No mistakes this time. Fancy triple rocker. Ready? And one, two, three. Rock step, rock step. Good. Tap back, double up. Walk the dog. Fancy triple rocker. One, two, three, rock step. Rock step, rock step, and a basic. Tap that. Walk the dog. Good. Let's try all of that with music. We're going to add in that intro again. The two great fine devils, triple loop, rock double. Here we go. Oops. Okay, where sure did I go here? Alright, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great mind up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Triple loop to the back. Rock double. Triple loop. One, two, three, rock double. Fancy triple rocker. One, two, Now, the chorus. I actually had written this dance, I think, back in 2009. Did I write this on here? Yes. Oh, no, pardon me, earlier than that. I said, originally choreographed in 2004, revamped in 2017. So, uh, 2004, I was still kind of fairly new to choreographing, and uh, I was just taking, oh, I need eight beats here, eight beats here. So for the chorus, initially, all I did was Samantha High Horse, Samantha High Horse. Then as the years progressed, 
I started to work on my choreography and I started hearing things in the music that I wanted to play with with our footwork. So I've modified this dance a bit. So we're going to go over the Samantha and the high horse first and then I'm going to show you my modifications. So, I believe we all know the Samantha. We've done a few Samanthas tonight. Samantha, one, two, drag, step, drag, step, rock, step, operation. That's our Samantha. Let's review a high horse, because at the end, we do actually do a regular high horse. So a high horse, double step, double front, double back, rock, step. Do you know a high horse? No? Okay, let's try that again. Double step, double front, double back, rock, step. That's the first four beats. So you're doing a double step, a double front, a double behind, and a rock step. Then you're going to do a ball slide, ball slide, double basic. So let's try. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double basic. Now, like I, all, like I always say, instead of the ball slide, an alternative is to just do a toe heel. So you can save the knee. So let's try a high horse using the toe heel option. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, toe heel, double base step. Let's try it again. Ready, Andrew? Ready? And double step, double front, double back, rock step, toe heel, double base step. One more time. <laughs> Breathe. Ready? And double step, double front, double back, rock step, toe heel, double base step. You'll get it. <laughs> We'll do. I'll do the regular high horse now with the ball slide. Ready? And double step, double front, double back, front step, ball slide. You got it? Let's do it on the beat though. Ready? And. Double basic. Yeah. Okay, get that in there. Try it. Ready? And double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step. No, no, you're putting in a rock step there. That's the problem. So I have to do that. Rock step, ball slide, double basic. Yes, now you got it. 100%. Let's try it. High horse. Ready? And double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide. <laughs> You'll get it. Let's try this. Samantha at a high horse. Ready? And. High horse. Okay, now that you know a high horse, we're changing it. <laughs> okay, um, in the dance, I want you to hear the music so you can see why I changed it. Okay, so here's the music. Here we go. This is Samantha. Now I'm just going to do a high horse here. I don't know if you heard it, but right at the end there, he goes, do I. So I wanted to kind of emphasize that. So we're going to do what I call a high horse slur. So you're going to start the high horse, and you're going to go as far as um, ball, ball slide, double step. So instead of doing a double basic right at the end there, I want you to stop after that double step. Okay, so go do the high horse up to that double step after the ball slide. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step. Ball slide. That's where you would do the double basic, right? Ball step, ball slide. Instead of the double basic, you're going to go double step, rock, slur, slur. Uh, no. Um, slur behind, oops. Slur behind. Yeah, I think that's it. Hang on. Da -da -da. Yeah, do a slur forward. Like that. Slur, slur, slur. Slur back? I can't remember how I did it now. No, we went forward. Okay. So, you're going to do that high horse again. Double step, double front, double back, rock, step, ball, fly, double step, rock. And then, as you do rock step, that step, you're going to slur the right foot and slur the left foot. And that's the end of that step. So it's, yeah, the rock, the high horse slur. 
is. Just look. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step, rock slur, slur. Okay? High force slur. Ready? And double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step, rock slur, slur. Your left foot is free. You're going to do a Samantha again, but it's hard to do a double step because your foot's kind of out here. So we're going to do a stomp Samantha. So instead of doing a double step to start it, just do a stomp. Stomp, double step, drag, step, drag, step, rock, step. Then we're going to do a high horse clap. So you're going to do the first seven beats of a, a high horse, and then instead of that last beat, the rock step, we're just going to clap. So you're going to go double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step, double step, clap. Yes, high horse clap. So Samantha, high horse slur, Samantha, stomp Samantha, high horse clap. Let's try that. Samantha. High horse slur, double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step, rock slur, slur. Stomp Samantha, high horse clap, rock step, ball slide, double step, double step, clap. Good. All right, let's just go over that high horse slur. I just want to make sure you all have it. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step, rock slur, slur. Try it again. So remember, after the ball slide, we typically do a double basic. You're going to do that double step, but then you're going to go rock, slur, slur. So just give me that double step, rock, slur, slur. Double step, rock, slur, slur. Do that again. Left foot. Double step, rock, slur, slur. High horse, slur. Ready? And double step, double front, double back, rock, step, ball, fly, double step, rock, slur, slur. Okay, we are now going to add in some turns. So you're going to do a Samantha turning half right. You're going to do your high horse slur facing the back, unfortunately. Then you're going to do your stomp Samantha. You're going to turn to your front, and then you're going to do the high horse clap. All right? Samantha, ready? And turn to the back. High horse slur. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball fly, double step. Good. And so I don't want any footwork during that clap because you're going to hear him go, yeah, that's the name of the song. So let's just try this part here. on the slurs. Let's reverse it. Are you, are you able to take your phone and go look up my video to this? Okay. I can so, do it on my laptop. Sure. So look up um, the yeah clogging routine. Yeah. Clogging. I have a feeling, sorry, now that I'm dancing it, that I think I went backwards on the slurs. So let's, let's do the high horse slur moving backwards instead of moving your slurs forward. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball fly, double step, rock, slur, slur. That's how I think I did it. I did the slurs moving backwards. Try it again. Ready? And double step, I'm double front. Slurs moving forward. What's that? Moving forward. I'm moving forward? I am moving forward. You're sure? Yep. I just watched. Okay. Okay. Then forget that. Let's move forward. Let's dance it all one more time. We'll move forward. My apologies on that. I wrote backwards on this. 
Yeah, I did first step back, but however I taught it. You're looking at the one that, I think Sarah posted it, didn't she? Yeah. Is it, is it, is it Sarah, is it Loudfoot Dancer? Yep. Yeah, okay, and I'm moving back. Yeah, Clogging Dance by Daryl and Paige. Yeah, okay, and how am I doing the high, the high horse slur? Moving forward. I am moving forward, yeah. okay. You're facing the back and moving forward. Okay, let's keep it forward then. Let's do that whole chorus part again. Again, I'm so sorry. I went through all the other dances tonight except for this one prior to. Okay. devils again but we never ever do the triple loop rock double anymore in the routine we do the, the grapevine devils but not the triple loops okay so we do the grapevine devils again for our break left and right we're gonna do part a again fancy triple rockers tap backs walk the dog to the back repeat to the front we're gonna do the chorus again Samantha high rock high horse slur stomp Samantha high horse clap part B so this is the middle section we're gonna do a Birmingham I was explaining this, this uh, step the other night, um, but let's just break it down again. Forgetting the crossover part at the beginning, I want you to do a syncopated step. Step, double, step, step, double, step, step. So that's the beginning of a Birmingham. A step, a double step, a step, a double step, and another step. Ready, and step, double step, step, double step, step. Ready, and. Now, what we're gonna do is you're gonna cross over on that first double step, and then you're gonna uncross in the second one. So it looks like this. Step, double step, step, double step, step. That's the first half of a Birmingham. Step, double step, step, double step, step. Ball slide, double basic. So the end of a Birmingham is exactly like the second half of a high horse, a regular high horse. Birmingham, stomp, double step, step, double step, step, ball slide, double basic. Ready, Birmingham, ready, and step, double, no, 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 starts with a step, not a double step. Ready, and step, double step, step, double step, step, ball slide, double basic. Do it again. Step, double step, step, double step, step, ball slide. Good. One more time, Birmingham. You do one Birmingham, then you're gonna do two basics. I want you to go left corner, right corner, and then you're gonna turn left and you're gonna do a fancy double to the back. Then you're gonna do a Birmingham facing the back. Ready? And step, double step, step, double step, step, all side. Two basics, left corner, right corner, fancy double to the front. So that's your part B. Let's try it. Without music first. Birmingham to basics and a fancy double. Repeat to the front. Ready? And step, double, step, step, double, step, step, all side. Two basics. Fancy double to the back. Birmingham. Two basics. Fancy double to the front. Good. Okay, let's learn that with music and then we just have one more step to learn. I'm gonna hurry it along. I know, I know. No, that's all repeats. Okay. When I see you, a woman does this to me, I got it bad. section. 
We're only doing one step, the bonanza step. I, tip, I typically say, and I know a lot of uh, cures do this too, bonanza. It's just so you don't, sometimes with the music, the voice doesn't always come out clearly, and bonanza and Samantha can sound quite similar. So we typically say bonanza so dancers can hear the difference. So a bonanza. You're going to do two double steps crossing over. One, two. You're going to do two double ups. Double up, double up. You're going to do a basic step and a double step brush. Double step, brush up. All right? So bonanza, two double steps, two double up, a basic, and a double step brush up. Now, we're going to do four of them in a row. So I want you to do a quarter turn. We're going to make a box out of them. You're going to go two double steps, two double up. Here's where I find it's easiest, and I think I wrote it differently on the cue sheet, but I find it easiest to turn on the basic. So you're going to go basic, step, double, step, brush, up. And then we're going to repeat the bonanza here, bonanza. So let's try four bonanzas in a row. Two double steps, two double ups, a basic step, and a single brush. Ready? And double step, double step, double up, double up, a basic, and a brush. Again, one, two, up, up. Basic step, double step, brush. One, two, up, up. Basic step, double step, brush. One, two, up, up. Basic step, double step, brush. So, bonanza, four times around. Let's do that one time with music. I think we only do this once in the dance. Yes, this only appears once in the dance. You can hear, this is the chorus that comes up next. But we do the chorus twice through. So instead of doing to the back, to the front, to the back, to the front, this time we're gonna do a three quarter turn on that Samantha, all right? So we were doing Samantha to the back, high horse slur, um, stomp Samantha to the front, high horse clap. This is what we're gonna do this time around. We're gonna do a Samantha, we're gonna do a three quarter turn. So now we're facing the left wall. We are gonna do a high horse slur. Double step, double front, double back, rock step, ball slide, double step, rock slur, slur. We're gonna do a stomp Samantha. So anytime you do the high horse slur, you know you follow it with a stomp Samantha, because it's easier. So now we're gonna do a three quarter stomp Samantha getting us to the back. And then typically, like we did in the previous parts, we would do a high horse clap. However, we are facing the back and the music's kind of different, so we're just going to do, this is where we do a regular high horse, facing the back. Rock, step, ball, fly, double bass. Then we do it all again. So you're going to do your Samantha, three quarters. Now we're facing the right wall, we're going to do a high horse slur. Rock, step, ball, fly, double step, rock, slur, slur. Very good, Andrew. Then we're going to do a stomp, Samantha, turning to the front. No, you're going to do three quarters, yep. Yeah. And then we're going to do a high horse clap. Nope, 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 no rock step. Double step, double step, clap, yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is, let's dance through without the music. Let's, that's coming up. Let's dance through. Um, this chorus star that comes up at the end. So we do Samantha, high horse slur, stomp Samantha, high horse. Samantha, high horse slur, stomp Samantha, high horse clap. All right? Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Samantha, ready? And turn three quarters. High horse slur. Double step, double front, double back. Rock step, ball slide, double step, rock slur, stomp, Samantha, 
as you turn to the back, a regular high board. Samantha, three quarters, high board slur. Rock step, go slide, double step, rock slur, slur. Stop Samantha to the front. High board swing clock. Ah, yes. Okay, um, make sure right there when you do your high horse clap that there's no sound with the feet, okay? When you're clapping, it should be da 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 step, double slide, double step, double step, clap. Then, we're just going to do, here's your ending. You're going to do four steps. Are you listening, Andrew? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we get to the end, after that high horse clap, you do four stomps. Then we're going to do grapevine devil, left and right. You're going to do your Birmingham, two basics, two basics, three-quarter fancy double, because we're going to do this Birmingham part four times. The previous time, we only did it to the back and to the front. Now we're going to do it to all four walls. Then, after we do all that, you're going to do the grapevine devil, left and right again. You're going to do the Birmingham, you're going to do the basics, and you're not going to turn this time. You do a fancy double. And then the music finally stops. It's one of these country song endings that goes on and on and on. So I tried to fill it in with steps that we've already done in the dance. Um, so anyway, just listen to the steps I call. All good? All right, so we got time for one dance through. Here is the song, Yeah, uh, by Paul Brandt, and choreography is mine. Yes, we're gonna keep it there. Okay. <laughs> Eight more, we're gonna do a great fine devil. Five, six, seven, eight. Ball five. One, two, three, four, five, six, ball five. Triple loop, turn to the back, rock double. Triple loop. Rock double. Fancy triple rocker. One, two, three, rock step, two rock.
nice try. <laughs> All right, 8.31, we went a minute over. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, again, like I said, hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have the list of all the dances and choreographers listed on this YouTube um, page, or this YouTube, um, what is this? This link anyway. So come back to this class and tomorrow and all the dances will be listed. The cue sheets are at www.daretoclog.com. Also, later tonight, if you come back to this channel, you'll see a link for an uh, intro to clogging, class two, that I'll be doing tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So I'll hope you join me then or uh, pass it on to someone who needs to learn how to clog. Tell them to watch class number one first that we did on March 31st and then, March 31st, right? Mm -hmm. I think that was the date. And then they can uh, continue on with tomorrow morning's class. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay healthy, everyone, and uh, hopefully we'll dance with you soon. Oh, one last thing. Don't turn it off just yet. Don't forget, uh, this Saturday night is the third Worldwide Fun Clogging Dance. Uh, the last two have been absolutely amazing. And this weekend, we have Judy Weymouth, my fellow Canadian instructor. She's going to be starting it all off. And then the Australian instructors from all over Australia. They're going to be teaching. I've met them all, and they are amazing people. And you're going to have a hoot with all their dances too. So make sure you tune in 7 p.m. Central Time, Saturday night. Go to the, just type in Google search or YouTube search, Worldwide Clogging Fun Dance, and I'm sure you'll find it. Have a great night, everyone.